madness. Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Okay. I hope that the audio is still recording. I hope to God that it's still recording. Please. Here we are. The city of ISIS. We've been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. Eat if I do the best, okay. you do the talking around here. The Onderonians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. <laughs> okay, so we got Mandalore and Vissus. Nice. And then let's quickly go up and level up Mandalore. He's just completely evil. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just make sure that this is recording correctly. I hate doing this, but I have to make sure from now on, whenever a freaking cutscene comes up, I always have to make sure that it actually freaking recorded the cutscene. So, or it actually is recording correctly. So, give me one second, guys. I will be right back. Okay, so it seems like everything is recording okay. Um, I... <laughs> I actually had to restart the game and the freaking recording software to get this to work again. Um, because for some reason, Lilo was like, nah! It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Uh, what's been going on here? Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. No, any news on the blockade? Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels yeah, no must crap. be searched. And the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever <laughs> since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. Priceless? Why? What's a Starport visa? If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Let me guess. Someone's going to steal it from me. Um... Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. Yeah, watch. Someone's gonna freaking steal it from me. How much do you want to bet? Hello? I can't believe that the Republic assaulted our space forces. Forget about secession. We should declare war. Margar. Ah, <laughs> uh, you come here. You are weak and scrawny without my powerful weapons and defenses. Special sale just for you. Things not allowed outside the city. Stupid. Did they say goods are banned? Killing implements are sitting good special sale from Magar's misfortune. Sure, dude. You guys don't have crap here. It doesn't look like it anyway. What do you got for a weapon? This in here. You're getting that Mandalorian heavy blaster. Do wield that crap. You hear me? Alright. So, uh, I guess. Hello. What's going on over here? Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talonian merchant? 
I am no merchant. The winds still taste of misfortune, then. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. Why do you have so many beasts in cages? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos. But the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. <laughs> we have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still feel the same. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered. Okay. <clears throat> so, apparently... What? Oh! Run! The Boma is out of control! Crap. Freaking, you know what that means. Time to pull my lightsaber and shock the crap out of him. Hmm. Get. Where's Vissus? What are you doing right now? I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. Or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not <laughs> since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. Uh... Thank you for the credits. They aren't necessary. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Where are we going now? It's 500 credits, man. I like how no one bats an eye of, like, you know, you're like freaking swinging your. Okay. Okay. Team's all here. Halt, off worlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. Oh, what is your business sake. on Isis? I don't think my business is any concern of yours. I don't think your business is any concern of mine. Exactly. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. Uh... You let, you'll you let me go about my business and forget you ever saw me. You should probably go about your business, whoever you are. Oh, uh, don't lose your Starport visa, otherwise you <laughs> won't be leaving for a long while. Heck yeah, I'm so glad I got my Force Persuade off, man. <laughs> Dude, that Force Persuade is so nice. Except when it didn't work on the freaking uh, one guys in on Dance Ween. You guys didn't get to see that, but they trained themselves not to... Let's hurry Let's this up. Me, whatever. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. Wow. Well, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have taken proof you. that Vaklu is withholding information We're on the so-called Republic. We're going to interrogate you about those I eyes and how big they you. are. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not Can a I spy. Here. Uh, what? Do you have some sort of words? Warrants? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. Well, that seems stupid. It was specifically stupid. meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. Oh... Journalists would be a poor cover for a spy. They're not well known for that discretion. This is just because I try and expose the web of lies that... Enough out of you! Perhaps this traitor is more of an agent provocateur. Sent by the Republic to sow dissent in our ranks. God damn it. You have any proof of any sort? That is classified military information. You have the wrong man, don't you? I have you? the wrong man. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. We have the wrong guy. So let him go. But watch it, both of you. If I hear even a hint you're up to something, I'm coming back. The Force is often effective in settling such matters. Exactly. I don't know how to thank you. Piss off. I'm yeah. getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. 
After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. No problem. Hey man, no problem. I whatever I can do to freaking help, you know. Child. Child. <laughs> Terrible. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? What do you mean? My husband was killed by General Vaclu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We Damn. have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. Uh, how do you know that war is coming? The military is divided. Some supporting the Queen, others supporting General Vaclu. Their arguments over seceding from the Republic become angrier and more public every day. General Vaclu has said that if the Queen doesn't rule with the consent of the people, she has no right to the throne. Things could get bloody. Tell me the truth. My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Okay. Over time, he became convinced that Vaclu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaclu. To protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. I'll see what I can do. So we need an open starport, huh? You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't <laughs> find a better deal. Piss off. I'm not giving you crap. Alright, let's see here. News hologram. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Oh, come on! Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Freaking politics, dude. <laughs> um. Captain Rickon, huh? Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Um. There's a lot of soldiers around me. <laughs> These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaclu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. Could you tell me about the troubles? I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Ask around, Damn though. It. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. How did you get in trouble? Times are too complex <laughs> for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Alright. Stay out of trouble. I'll try to, mate. I'll try to. I don't know how well that's gonna work out. <coughs> um... I'm trying to see, like, where do I have to go right now. So we got, like, some places to go. Gagaran. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Yes, I am. But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? Oh, my God, dude. I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers and... Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No <laughs> need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Uh, pr pr pretend he isn't here. What the hell? <laughs> I'll be gone now. I'm not giving. I'm giving that one woman a freaking passport. I'm not giving anyone else a passport. 
Like, you guys can forget about it. And, uh, dude, there's, like, a lot of play. Like, this place is really wide open. Let's see what this is all about. There must come a time when the queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given now, we uh. get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? The Queen, uh... Surely the Republic does something in return for you. No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. Wait a minute! You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't <laughs> silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. That guy looks like the guy from uh, the first game. If I speak more right now, the soldiers will arrest me. Perhaps later. These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. <laughs> oh, come on, man! I don't want to fight more of you guys! Piss off! I really don't want to fight more of those guys. Okay. What the hell? Crowd. We're gonna have to find another source of cheap fuel. Why is it? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, why does Vissus get stuck? Am I the only one who notices that? Like, General Vakla would cut himself off from the many plants of the public. This is foolish. It's solitude, no civilization, profits first. You don't understand the people of Enderon. They are proud and have fought many adverts. The visitors to where they are mostly by themselves too. They have given much to the public and see little in return. Little Vac General Vlackley believes independence would be as his best interest. But Republic fight battles to free Andoran and Mandalorian wars should be thankful. She should be honored. Yeah, I got me. The Mandalorians have never been on that moon, and if it weren't for Exar Kun. And he was a fallen Jedi. I think Vaklu's right. Uh, there could be that some. There would be some deep consequences if Andoran succeeds from the Republic. <laughs> the Republic is ailing. Independence may serve many planets better. In time of need, we need to lend aid. Wars hurt Republic, but Republic protect us all. Government will protect again. I mean, okay. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this situation. I don't know how to feel about this situation. Like, let's discuss this further at the cantina. Like, I honestly don't know what to feel about this. Uh, whether, you know, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly a bit stumped. Uh, I don't know which side to really take. I think, though, I kind of gotta admit, I do, I would trust the Republic. Okay, what is up with Visis? Seriously, what is up with her? Why is she, like, being so unresponsive right now? Visis. What is wrong with you? But, like, yeah, I, I guess I would kind of lean towards the Republic side, you know, where they shouldn't secede. Because, let's be honest here, sus secession can be very good, but it can be very bad. In this case, I think... Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Damn it. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. No. Considering the fact that she won't do it on her own. Because this is his freaking thing is broken. I don't know why. But her freaking AI is like completely just down the crap on it. Ah, freaking A. 
Cryo. Is restless. Okay. Let me heal up. That does heal quite a bit more than the last one. To be quite honest, because like the last one did not heal like at all. It healed like what 16 health? That one seems to be way better. Um I mean, I guess we have to go to the the western side, don't we? I guess. But we can always see what the heck's going on over here. The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, off-worlder. Oh look, Vis has actually followed me. 